Kids, Kids, Kids on Sunday. Sunday. That's right, you guessed it. We are live with you again for another time. This is part four of the Divine Health series coming to you live from River Kids on here in East London, South Africa. And today, Jazan, we're speaking about part four, which is methods of healing. Today is going to be good, so thank you so much for joining us. Remember to click the share button, share this video with your friends and family. And come on, moms and dads, get your children together on the couch, get them to watch this, because today is really going to be impactful. That's right, Jazan. You said it. Today's going to be an impactful day. The lesson's going to be powerful. It's going to be an awesome drama skit, which you don't want to miss. So stay tuned with us. Get engaged in the videos. Comment with us. Get engaged with us in the comment section. Let's get straight into today's lesson. Well, today's lesson is part four of our Divine Health series, and we're going to be learning today the methods of healing. So we're very excited to share with you the methods of healing. I want you to know that divine healing is when God heals you supernaturally. Let's take a look at the Word of God today and see what His Word has to say about healing. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18 in the NLT, this is what it says. It says that these miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name, and they will speak in new languages. They will be able to lay, handle any snakes with safety, and if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. They will be able to, to place their hands on the sick and they will be healed. I want to encourage you, those of you who are watching today, that you can go and lay hands on the sick and they can be healed. This is something so exciting that God has given us. He's given us the ability to go and heal the sick, to go and cleanse lepers, to go and raise the dead. That's what our commission has been, is to go and lay hands on the sick and they will recover. That is but one of the methods of being able to see divine healing. Another way to see divine healing, so number one is laying hands on the sick. Number two, is to anoint with oil. You know that if you get sick in the church, if somebody falls sick, you can call for the pastors or the elders of the church and they can anoint you with oil. The anointing oil, the oil, it acts as a point of contact for you to release your faith. You go and act upon that response. You respond when you get anointed with that oil. So that there is another way to be able to receive divine healing. Point number three is to be able to pray the prayer of agreement. When you and a buddy get in agreement and you stand together on the promises of God, you can see divine healing. Number four is to be able to pray the prayer of faith. That's why we get the Word of God out to you, so that you can build your faith on the inside, that you can stand on the promises of God's Word, knowing that 1 Peter 2.24 says that by Jesus' stripes, by His wounds and His transgressions, I am healed. And you can stand on that promise and pray the prayer of faith and receive divine healing. Number five is to speak words of faith. During this time, it's not a time for us to speak doubt, to speak unbelief, to speak fearfully, but we have to speak words of faith, speaking words that come from God's Word, speaking promises from the Word of God. And then number six is the gift of healing. So there are various ways to be able to receive divine healing, but today we're going to focus on a few of them. You know, the only cases of healing um, related to in the Bible were cases and stories of divine healing. And today we're going to learn a little bit about that. You know, Jesus told us in Mark chapter 16 that when we lay hands on the sick, they will recover. I want to encourage you, boys and girls, moms and dads, whoever's watching this video today, we want to encourage you, if there are any sick among you, if there are any sick in your family, maybe your friends, maybe there's relatives, we want to encourage you, go and lay hands on the sick. Jesus said that when we lay hands on the sick, they will recover. So we want to encourage you, go out there in faith, take action. Let's go lay hands on the sick and see the sick raised. Jesus said that when we lay hands on those blind eyes, those eyes would open. When we lay hands on those deaf ears, those deaf ears would open. When we lay hands on the mute, the mute would be able to speak again. When we lay hands on the lame, on the cripple, that they will be able to walk again. When we lay hands on the dead, that they would be raised. That's a command that Jesus has given us. And we have that gift of healing. You have that there on the inside of you. You, have, you are anointed to go and lay hands on the sick and see them recover. So a part of the object lesson today, I want you, want you to see this here. Okay, There are two ways to receive divine healing. All right, There is the natural healing and there is divine healing. All right, Say it with me, natural healing. And divine healing. Now say for example, for example, that you had a sore throat or maybe a snotty nose or you had a bit of a cough and you went to go see the doctor. Now the doctor would prescribe something to you. He would prescribe medication, so you would have to take some tablets and then he would say drink lots of water. <sighs> he would say drink water, drink tablets and then he would say go and get some rest. So you would have to go and <sighs> Get some rest. That's what the doctor would say. And then in a couple of days, you will be healed. That's natural healing. But then there is divine healing. And remember, divine healing is God's supernatural way of healing. 
So divine healing is when you get into God's word and God supernaturally heals. Let's have a look and remember, let's have a look and see what Satan's package deal was. Remember that in Satan's package deal, one of the things in, Jesus, in, in Satan's package deal was what? Sickness. That's right. Now sickness is not from God. Remember, sickness is from the devil. And now we are told that the sickness is not our portion. It has to flee. So I want you to see this here. Divine healing is like this. You see the sickness? The sickness has to go. And I want you to see what divine healing does because Jesus said that he removes all our sickness and removes all our disease. And this is how Jesus has removed our sickness and our disease. You see how quickly this is, this is going? You see how quickly that is going? You see how that just went like that there? The same way that there was removed by those flames is the same way Jesus removed your sickness, the same way he's removed your disease. We want to encourage you today as you get into the word of God, as you build up your faith, you can go out and lay hands on the sick and see them recover. You will see people get healed. So let's go take a look at today's drama skits and see what the team have in store for us. Boys and girls, we've talked about two methods of healing, anointing with oil as well as laying hands on the sick. And now we're going to be talking about the prayer of agreement. Hey, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Joe, you're we raking the leaves, yeah, right? Stop raking the leaves. What happened to your arm there? That's right. <laughs> uh, I broke it. <laughs> hey, Joey. I can't see that. Uh, well, how did you break that arm of yours, by the way? Well, I was raking leaves in the tree and I fell out the tree. <laughs> Wait, let me get this right. You were raking leaves. I fell out the tree. Joey, is this the hospital, eh? No, no, so it's not the hospital. <laughs> oh. This is not the hospital, not too bright. Come on now. But I know, this is not the hospital, but I know how you can get your arm healed. You do? Yes, I oh. do. Because my arm really hurts. It's so sore. Well, yeah, let me show you what I'm actually talking about. Yeah? In Matthew 18, verse 19, it says, If any two people agree on earth, I can get my arm healed. So can I get my arm better, eh? Yes, you can. You need to agree with me. Okay. Agree with me for Jesus to heal your arm. Can you do that? Yeah, I think I can do that. No problem. Okay, do you want to agree with us, Joey? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, come on, Joey. Let's agree. Father, I thank you that you already paid the price. By Jesus' stripes and by his wounds, he is already healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. So, how does your arm feel, not too bright? <laughs> it feels the same. It's so sore. Nothing's changed. But remember, not too bright, yeah. that faith is believing before you see. So, maybe you have the symptoms, but you've got to believe before you see. That is faith. But I don't believe the word of God, I don't believe what's there. <laughs> well, that's the problem. Oh. <laughs> you must stand in agreement with us and you must believe what's in the Word of God. You need to put your trust fully in God. I wasn't in agreement in that all. But, oh, don't, still sore. but don't you want to be healed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dummy, uh, I think I'd rather break my arm. I don't have to break any leaves. <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have to break up the leaves. <laughs> Oh, but really, boys and girls, don't have the attitude of not to right. Trust the Lord and believe for complete healing. Believe Him, trust Him, stand on the Word, and remember to get in agreement with someone. Use the prayer of agreement to get I love that drama skit. Today's Bible story is Jesus heals Jairus' daughter. And this Bible story is found in Mark 5, verse 21 to 23, and 35 to 43. So it's found in Mark 5, verse 21 to 23, and 35 to 43. You know that Jesus crossed the Sea of Galilee? 
bar boat and after crossing the sea, a ruler of the synagogue named Jairus fell at Jesus' feet. And you know what he said? He said, my little daughter is dying. He said, please come and lay your hands on her and heal her so that she can live. And while Jesus and Jairus were walking to his house, someone came and told Jairus that his daughter was dead. And as soon as Jesus heard that, he said to Jairus, do not be afraid, only believe. And while Jesus and Jairus came to his house, many people were crying and mourning for Jairus' daughter. And Jesus said to them, why are you weeping? The girl is not dead, but only asleep. And all the people laughed at him. So Jesus actually sent all the people away, told them to leave the room except the mother and the father and his three disciples. And holding her hand, holding this little girl's hand, Jesus said to her, Talita kum, and which means, little girl, get up. And the little girl was 12 years old, and immediately she stood up and she started walking around. And all the people were overwhelmed and amazed. He laid hands and spoke faith words over her. And Jesus told us that if we would lay hands on the sick, they too would recover. So we too can take this Bible story into our own lives. It's very powerful and it's impactful on our own lives. We too can lay hands on the sick and see them recover. So join us now for our memory verse. Hey boys and girls, was that not an amazing Bible story? And right now we're going straight into our memory verse and it is found in the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. And this is how it goes. These are the signs that follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick <coughs> and they shall recover. Okay boys and girls, let's go again in Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. These are the signs that follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick <coughs> and they shall recover. Oh, that, that was an amazing memory verse. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go straight into our object lesson. Well, come on, that was an amazing memory verse. I want to encourage you boys and girls, like Uncle Dimitri was teaching us, that we can go and learn that March chapter 16, verse 17 to 18, and that we will go out and lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Today has really been such a powerful session, and we want to encourage you, as you, as you learn from what we've learned today, go out and apply God's Word. You know, this is what it says in James chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. This is what it says. It says that, are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anoint you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. I want you to hear this here about the oil. You see, the oil cannot heal you. Jesus is the healer. The oil is a point of contact. So when you get anointed with oil, that gives you a point of contact to release your faith. So when, when, when the oil gets put onto the pastor or the elder's finger and the, and the elder comes and puts that oil on you and puts that oil on and prays for you, that oil is a point of contact for you to release your faith. Today we want to be praying with you to believe God that you'll be healed, that you'll be set free, that you'll be delivered, whatever it is that you're trusting God for healing for, that today as we pray for you, that you would be healed in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you one more time that the heal, that the, that the, that the oil doesn't save the sick. The oil doesn't save the sick. You see, it's the prayer of faith that saves the sick. So as we pray today, I want to, we're going to pray a prayer of faith. We want you to stand in agreement with us. Remember, we've learned this here from that powerful drama skit. We want to encourage you as we learned about that impactful Bible story. We want to encourage you as you stand in agreement, as we pray the prayer of faith, as we get into the Word of God. Let's stand together agreeing that we will be healed today, whatever it is that you're trusting healing for. So I want to ask you to lift your hands. This is where your help comes from. Lift your hands to heaven. And we want to pray with you. I want to encourage you, if you're watching on a mobile device, if you're watching on, on a TV screen or on, on a computer screen, stretch out your hand and put your hand on the screen as a point of contact as we pray today. Father, we thank you for every single person watching, every single person listening today. Under the sound of my voice, Father, we thank you for every single person who has come before you today. We command every sickness, every disease to leave their bodies in Jesus' name. Father, those who have been coming to you continually asking you for healing, 
Today we stand in agreement and pray the prayer of faith that, that by your word, 1 Peter 2.24, that says that by your wounds, by your transgressions, that we are healed, the stripes of Jesus, that we are healed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, that it's your word as it goes forth that heals people. It sets people free. I thank you that today people are coming out of bondage. People coming, people are being loosed by chains. People are being set free with sickness and disease. I think that people won't live in lack anymore. That people will live in the overflow. I think that we would live in divine healing in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you. Maybe those who are watching today who don't have any children. Father, we speak life into the womb of that mom. We speak life into the womb of that mother. We speak life into the womb of that, of that, of that wife. Of that, of that dear woman. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that they will be able to conceive in the mighty name of Jesus. Those children who are trusting you for healing, those parents who are trusting you for healing. Father, we thank you that it's done in Jesus' name. We rebuke cancer. We rebuke corona. We rebuke HIV. We rebuke whatever it is, Father, whatever sickness it is, it has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. And so we come into agreement today as we pray the prayer of faith. Father, we thank you for mighty testimonies in Jesus name that as your word goes forth it will produce signs wonders and miracles that we would hear great testimonies father of your goodness and your faithfulness in Jesus name amen amen well if you prayed that prayer let us know we'd love to get in contact with you direct message us send us a message or send us an email we would love to hear from you wow well come on if you've been blessed by this awesome series by this awesome lesson from today the methods on receiving healing we really want to encourage you let us know if you've been blessed by this if there's a testimony that you want to testify of god's goodness and faithfulness of your healing write to us and let us know you can send us an email at kidzone at riverfamily.com or direct message us right on our facebook page jazan today was awesome I really enjoyed learning about the different methods for healing and I know that it impacted your life. It grew your knowledge in the Word of God, so I really enjoyed it. If you want to give your heart to Jesus, then today is the day. I want to pray with you, Come so on. I want you to mean this from your heart. Say it out your mouth. Let's pray together. Let's accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Come on. Dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. And set me free. And set me free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. For me. For me. Thank you. Thank you. For rising again. For raising again. On the third day. On the third day. I thank you. I thank you. That I am saved. That I am saved. And that I'm born again. That I'm born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are a child of God and all of heaven rejoices. Woohoo! Come on, so if you prayed that prayer, let us know. That's very exciting. We want to encourage you. Get into the Word of God. If you prayed that prayer, get into a church that preaches the Word of faith, where the Holy Ghost is present, where the fire of God is. We want to encourage you. Get into the Word of God. Thank you so much for being a part of today's lesson. We really uh, are blessed by you being a part of it. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, remember, Jesus loves you. We, we love, love you. you. And we'll see you soon. Love you guys.